Welcome back to Vepper 12 All Day. Thank you once again for tuning in and supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and please support our sponsors. Last week, I brought you a video called How to Shop for Shotgun Ammo, where we covered the basics, explained dram equivalency, and took you on location to Walmart to discuss buying ammo on a budget and good options for baseline testing your Vepper 12. That video has gotten a lot of good feedback, and it started some good discussion, mostly between me and my buddy Gunfun. That guy will forget more about ammo than I will ever know. In that video, I suggested buying some of the Suprema Double Out Buckshot from Walmart. Now this stuff is pretty popular with the AK shotgun crowd. It's well known, it's easy to get, and it really packs a punch. Also, it's super cheap. 12 bucks for a box of 25, that's unheard of. Most of this stuff costs like a dollar a round. This stuff is super fun to plink with, it kicks like a mule, and uh, it should pretty much cycle in any Vepper 12, no questions asked, unless that gun has some problems. The only problem I have with it is that there's not enough information on the box. There's no FPS rating. There's no DRAM rating. All it tells you is the size of the pellets, which is double lot, and that there are nine of them. So if you do the math and those pellets are the size that they're supposed to be, your shot weight, your payload, is an ounce and an eighth. So at least we know that. But today, we're going to solve that problem once and for all. We're actually going to test this stuff with a chronograph in my backyard. We have a competitive edge dynamics Millennium 2 chronograph that I got from 4Range. It's an awesome instrument and we're gonna get to the bottom of that mystery once and for all. I think that if you're paying $12 a box for something you should know that information because you're paying for performance. So before we hit the range guys I'm gonna show you what I learned about these Suprema Double Out Buck shot shells. The quality control is actually pretty damn good. Um, one thing we all love about Suprema and their various shot shells is they have this nice, firm hull, okay, which is very important to uh, cycling the gun. It's way more important than the height of this brass head, for example, which means nothing, absolutely nothing. Tall brass, low brass, it doesn't matter. If you're using a high-quality polymer to uh, house your shot, that's what's really important there. So when I cut these open, they had this buffer that was laying on top and that's important too is going to keep your shot together as it's traveling down the barrel and one other thing that I noticed in the three shells that I did cut open all the pellets are just kind of laying in there real nice in a nice geometric fashion they're stacked properly they're not just thrown in there one guy online actually showed a picture where he x-rayed a full mag of double out buck it was a cheaper brand and some of the shells look like it was just thrown in there completely random. Uh, when they're actually stacked nice and organized like this, that's going to make a big difference in terms of ballistics and patterning. This one right here, I just kind of cut a little window in, and it's the same deal. Those are stacked up nice and neat like they're supposed to be, nice and organized. So one more thing to add, I did measure a good number of these pellets here, and they're nice and round like they're supposed to be and they also measure in right around 0 .330 inches like they're supposed to. So that's pretty important too. We've got most of the fixings for a pretty high quality shot shell here so let's take you out on the range and see how it performs. Okay we're out here on the range so let me give you a little tour of our setup here and the equipment we'll be using to conduct this test. Before I did anything I verified my point of impact from my shooting position on a target to make sure that we're getting a consistent impact about three to four inches above the sensors of the chronograph. This is a very high quality chronograph. It's the Competitive Edge Dynamics Millennium 2. It's available from 4range.com and it is pretty much the gold standard top of the line chronograph that is used at uh, USPSA shooting matches to verify bullet velocity. And it has a gorgeous remote digital readout screen that gives you all kinds of information about your strings of fire. We'll have one of my cameras trained on that for a heads up display while I'm firing. And we're ready to record our information here for a later reference. So we've got four of these factory mags loaded up, a 10 rounder and three eights. That should give us a great sample size to figure out what exactly the FPS is for the Suprema double out buckshot. So this is the Vepper 12 that I'll be using for the test. Nothing in the chamber quite yet. 
Uh, I've taken off the muzzle device and choke that I usually have on there because that actually does change the FPS readings out of these guns. I still have the factory guide rod and spring installed here. Got a vortex red dot on top. And what I've done is turn it into a bolt action shotgun. I've removed the gas puck from the action. That'll set a nice pace for me for the test. Uh, so you're gonna see me racking the bolt after every shot. It'll eliminate any monkey business whatsoever. And I also am gonna take advantage of this Mako recoil reducing stock. So let's get the test started. Let's start it off. Mag number one, 10 shots. All done. Let's take a look at the chrono readings. So we have a high of 1335, a low of 1286. That's a pretty big spread. Average 1311. Mag number two, eight shots. Okay, we fixed that glare issue we were having. And we got a high 1306, low 1249, average 1284, and no outliers. Let's see what this button does. SD, standard deviation. All right, 17.8. So that's varying that much from the baseline at any given moment. Pretty cool. Mag number three, eight shots. High, low, average, standard deviation. Fourth and final mag. I think we're going to beat the rain today, guys.
That's it. We're all clear. Let's take a look at the results. That string we have high of 1292, low of 1230, average of 1270, standard deviation of 18.1. So there you have it, the straight scoop on this Suprema double lot buck. I think we put this chronograph to good use today. Go check out 4range.com. They have this product as well as a full line of products from Competitive Edge Dynamics as well as Double Alpha Academy. Don't forget to use my discount code. So we made a nice clean hole in the target here. Uh, it's only about six feet away from the muzzle though. Uh, this wasn't a ballistic test, but what we're gonna do for you is analyze the data we've collected and have some final thoughts coming up for you. We're back from the range. Let's talk some numbers. So let's start with our high mark, which is 1335 FPS that we got during our first string of fire. That's pretty high, but I didn't go so far as to toss it as an outlier because I have seen FPS readings similar to that when I was uh, chronoing the ammo before off camera. On the low end, we have 1230, which gives you an extreme spread of 105 FPS, which is a lot. So it's looking like the Suprema double op buck is pretty inconsistent. However, if you look at the other numbers, I also average the highs and average the lows. And when you take those and consider the spread between them, you're pretty much cutting that in half at 53, which is not that bad for budget ammo. Then we went on and averaged all the averages and we got 1288 FPS. And if you look at this column, the standard deviation from the baseline is actually pretty consistent at 17 FPS. So that's a lot of information that we just learned from our test. A sample size of about 35 cartridges is pretty telling, and I purposely selected uh, those different mags from different boxes of the ammunition. I had about four boxes on hand. So if we go to our handy chart that we use for reference on Vepr.org to find out dram equivalent, we have an ejecta mass of one and an eighth ounce, that's those nine double aught pellets, and that's gonna put us pretty much right in between three and a quarter and three and a half dram. So that is the result of your chrono test for the Suprema double aught buck from Walmart. So there you have it. I had a lot of fun making this video, guys. It was a lot of hard work, a little tedious, definitely some trial and error times, but I feel a lot better now actually knowing the FPS of the Suprema Double Lot. Still the apple of my eye. Still going to continue to recommend it for use in AK shotguns, especially the Vepr 12. I hope to make many more videos in the future chrono testing shotgun ammo. There are just a few that I would love to get my hands on and uh, run this test. Uh, so let me know what you thought. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the video description for product links and discount codes. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.